Hey guys, it is LogosMC here, and I am back on the MatCraft server. I'm on the Creative Whitelist server, and if you don't know what the server is, it's a really cool server by the YouTuber Matthias. And I was fortunate enough to get whitelisted on the server, so I got to build a few things. And this is one of them. It's a modern library. If I didn't put that in the title for some reason. And I'll actually get to this building later. That's something that's virtually finished, but not quite. Just needs some furnishings in it. But I'll get to that in a later episode, and you'll see it later. And yeah, library built by Paint 741 and Flows HD. And that's my IGN, if you didn't know. And well, first of all, let's check out the library. Or, <laughs> library outside I have this wonderful lawn and it's because I wanted to sort of follow what Matthias did at the spawn and I kinda carried it down here and this he did this his name is Chuckles so I was like eh, I might as well do it over here too and I actually might build some parking right here I'm not too sure because there's no place to park yet <laughs> and well with virtual cars and anyways when you go up here this is the main entrance to it you have this sort of patio thing I should have put more chairs out here I might do that later but uh, yeah anyways a patio with a really cool awning looking thing I didn't know what to do so it kinda looked plain out here so I decided to put this here and have places for people to read and stuff so I used a little bit of snow and stuff you know what I mean it, a little indent in the ground and as for the outside I think this is actually my favorite view of it just because the house I like this circular feel to it I don't know it looks bright and I'm actually gonna change it today there we go I actually kinda like it at night but it looks pretty good during day too so if you didn't hear from my last video, I kind of like start at one point and do random things as I let it go. So, I kind of went through the same thing here and kind of made different windows as I went. As you can see, made a skylight here. And just as I went through, it, get, it gets harder after a little while, but you get completely used to it at a certain point. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go on the inside I guess because there's not too much to talk about on the outside just visuals on the inside I have obviously bookshelves because it's a library and I kinda arranged it in a pattern like this because well why not I mean <laughs> didn't think of any other pattern to do I probably could have if I waited a little bit and that's fine and I put doors here just to cover up the ends of the bookshelves but you can't really do it right there so actually I have an idea for that but never mind I'm not gonna go back and change it but yeah again I have some more uh, desks and I actually have these pretty cool player heads that are that look like books so I have those lying around everywhere I was gonna have laptops um, but apparently you can't place things where item frames are or where paintings are so I couldn't do the pressure plate, pressure plate um, picture thing because the server won't allow it that's fine this is the checkout area not too much here I was gonna build something but I wasn't too sure what to build so I kinda just left it a desk and put a few books on it and made an employees era uh, employees area and again a few other bookshelves they could be like comic books or something that are only found in the back and of course well first there's a skylight I really like that I haven't actually looked up here yet I don't know why I haven't <laughs> but yeah of course there is an upstairs cause we need more space for more books and these are sort of arranged in a pattern like this and uh, again I have some more desks with books and that's really it up here so yeah I am 
I guess I can talk about what how I went with the design. I sort of touched on that earlier, but I kind of went with darker colors, as you might realize, when the rest of the server is brighter, I guess. Definitely much brighter. But I thought it would stand out. I really like the spruce wood that went with the black, gray, and white. I didn't definitely like the wood. I started using it right here with the solar panels, and I thought it would be a great way to cover up, like, not really cover up, but make the windows look more horizontal rather than vertical, and it kind of gives it that effect that it's kind of both ways. Alright, this will conclude the tour of my library. So if you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a pleasure building it, and I hope you guys want to see some more in the future. If you want to see more, please let me know, because I would not mind giving tours of things such as this, which I will be doing in a few more episodes. I'm going to get through some other episodes of different series first, and then I'll go ahead and do this. Still need some last touches, like I said at the beginning. But anyways, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.